The Century Media Podcast. Take it away, Morion. Hi, this is Morian from Dark Fortress. Welcome to the Century Media Podcast on the record. Our new album is called Island. The title refers to the state of the elements before the Big Bang. And to return to the state means destroying everything that exists now as the universe is crunched up into one tiny little small point again. The title of the album comes from the song Island, of course, and we felt this is the song title that best sums up what this album is about. Um, and we also liked that this word hasn't been used too much yet. Um, it's a problem these days because there are more bands around than there are words and more albums than there are words. So we were glad to find something not that stale yet. Island was recorded, engineered and produced by V Centura who produced all Dark Fortress albums since Stab Wounds. However, this time we were lucky to be able to work in Centura's own studio, Woodshed Studio, close to Lanzut, our hometown. And it was great because we had um, enough time, we had professional equipment, we had all the peace we could want, and this was something that was really missing on previous productions. And uh, yeah, we could basically do what we wanted and um, realize all our visions in peace without any outside distraction or disturbance. And yeah, we cooked up a storm in between our sessions and um, had our own little ways to chill out in between. So it was a very nice, uh, very pleasant and relaxed process that allowed us to focus on the music rather than dealing with all kinds of crap that came from the outside. Most of the music on Island was written by Vicentura, who always has been the main songwriter, but uh, also Asmargr, Seraf and me contributed uh, some things and the funny thing was that our stuff was there way ahead of Santura even having started working on the thing so for some time there was a little bit of panic if we were gonna make it but then Santura had about two months uh, where he wrote all the rest of the album so that we were ready when time came to record everything and when everything was there we uh, spent a couple of weeks in the studio just tweaking things and adding little details here and there and really um, you know, getting everything where it needs to be and with some songs we were as surprised as you're probably gonna be. One example is Wraith um, which was planned as a kind of a ballad with clean vocals and uh, we had our friend Morto in mind all the way but when we heard the final song we were yeah <laughs> we were amazed that it was us that had done this and this happened uh, on a number of occasions also with Redivider for example which just kept growing as we were recording it and um, yeah, became quite monolithic at the end. Um, I also like very much to work with Centura for the vocals because he knows very clearly what he wants. At the same time he gives me uh, enough freedom to do what I want to do, but he guides me through it and he is blessed with infinite patience almost and has a very gentle way of uh, squeezing the last bits out of you. If you think like you can't anymore, there is always a step further you can go and I've learned a lot from this process and I think we all have. There's a lot of slow stuff on this album as well, more clean guitars than before and in general we felt the need to feel free about what we are going to create and we took uh, yeah, a lot of advantage of the fact that nobody tells us what to do. Um, and because of this, because of the songs being a little bit slower and 
yeah, riffs and vocals and drums and stuff, having more time to breathe. It was not as tough to record this album. Um, I think the guys had uh, more problems with Eidolon because it's so fast and uh, very dense and hardly ever a moment to breathe. So all this made it actually easier to record this album. This doesn't take away that there's some crazy shit going on there and you will hear it when you check out the album. So of course you sweat and of course you work very hard, but um, it was not like before that we had a feeling that we continuously have to go to the limit of our technical capabilities to be able to play the songs. No, it was rather that we yeah, we tried to capture the right emotions and go as far as we could there because we didn't have to fight with our fingers and stuff. The artwork was done by Stefan Lenfesti uh, from California who contacted us through MySpace and um, we were very impressed with his work immediately and since he digs the music and um, is at home in the darker spheres of reality it was very pleasant because we didn't have to explain a whole lot to him and we explained the concept of island to him uh, a state where everything is destroyed swept away completely desiccated uh, dried up and uh, you cannot tell anymore that there has ever been civilization in this place. And I, we think he did a great job in putting that into images and into the artwork without losing the spiritual dimension that is there in our music. Oh yeah, make sure you check out the new Dark Fortress album, Ilum, which is in stores this month on February the 9th. And let's hear a track from that album called Hyrodinians. Take it away, Morion. Hi, this is Morion from Dark Fortress, and you're listening to the Century Media Podcast. <laughs> 